on one wintry morning in the law school i was a student of the campus law center here in delhi one of my friends walked up to me over a cup of tea and said in hindi ab to karega kya what will you do in life so i said i will do exactly what all of us are here to do which is to study law and become lawyers but then he said par zindagi kaise guzarega how will you make your livelihood so i said i was a little non plus and i said that well by practicing law but then he said that dekh main aapko kuch sachai sunana chahta hu ki is profession mein aapko jeena hai to aur kuch bhi thoda sa apna le to maine kaha to kya apna le what should i do so he says why don't you get a gas agency or a retail oil dealership <laughs> so you can tell the world that you are a lawyer but you will have sufficient means to sustain yourselves <laughs> and i said to myself that thought has never left me because in so many ways it reflects the truth about our profession that while you have at the tip of the profession top notch lawyers in the supreme court who would have say seven or eight screens open before them when the video conferencing hearings were going on so that they could flip from court to court at the flip flip of a mouse yet you have lawyers when the court was shut and the registrar's court was not functioning during the covid times they were virtually living from hand to mouth one of the first things that the supreme court bar association president told us was sir when you reopen the court please get the registrar's court going now the registrar's court deals with very small procedural issues substitution of legal heirs placing a matter before the chamber court all the small things for which juniors run to that court but he said that is what sustains the juniors life and livelihood because that's when a junior will get 800000 rupees to appear and at the end of the month be able to sustain a family for the longest period when i was a member of the mumbai bar space was very difficult to get so i had an office all of 180 square feet but the beauty of my office is that you just crossed over from the high court into my office but it was all of 180 square feet which was sufficient to sustain the kitchen the home the hearth and the family as a young law student when we went to the campus law center we would take the DTC bus I still remember the bus route numbers which was 210 220 or 240 it took the ring road if you if it was very crowded you took a 101 which went to regal and which went through old delhi it took a longer time and again as young students of law we would use those conversations in these buses to talk about law to talk about what we are reading or just plain friendship and camaraderie and that sense of friendship and camaraderie is what sustains our profession all of us in the profession and i say when i say all of us i don't mean the judges because we by training we do not have a political ideology we decide cases on the basis of the law but all of us as lawyers we have our own ideologies we have our own predilections we have our own social backgrounds but the beauty of the legal profession is that when we wear that black coat a white shirt and black trouser and wear that gown over us it kind of masks everything that lies underneath and it is a reminder to us that irrespective of what we profess or believe we are all involved in one common mission which is the mission to do justice to common citizens I did my BA in economics honors from St Stephen's College an elite institution of the university of which I am deeply proud even today some of the finest minds in the country which are laying down policy even today were batchmates of mine and I look up to them even now but that journey from St Stephen's College to the campus law center was a journey of a different universe because when we became students of law you had students from all different backgrounds 
not students who are necessarily academically the brightest students in the nation, but students who had an earthy understanding of life, farmers' children, children who, who would be the first generation of lawyers in their families, who taught us about the reality of India and from whom we learned the reality of India.